So we are given a quadratic in standard form, which is not a very nice form to uh, read our information off of. Uh, so we're going to change it into different forms. We're going to change it into factored form, because factored form is going to help us find what? Yeah, which points? The roots, so the zeros. So we can get into factored form, we can find out the roots. So if I want to factor x squared minus 4x minus 12, and then do two numbers, then multiply to negative 12 and add to negative 4. What two numbers are those? x minus 6 plus 2. X plus 2. Great. So this is factored form. Now when it's in factored form, we should be easily able to identify the roots. Great, so the roots are x plus 6, x equals negative 2. Now another word for the roots are the zeros. That's on the x-axis. Thank you. On the x-axis, where does it cross the x-axis? That's the roots. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that right away. If I know that the roots are negative 2, point there, and positive 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, these are the roots. If you know the roots, that's going to really help you graph this parabola. There's one more thing I need to know to graph the parabola. The vertex! Now, right now, I can't really see what the vertex is from this. I can't really see what the vertex is from this. So I'm going to put it in vertex form where I can easily see the vertex. And our main strategy for vertex form is completing the square. This is where it's going to be So if I start out at y equals x squared minus 4, x minus 12, I'm going to divide negative 4 by 2, square it, and what do I get? I get 4. So I'm going to add 4, and subtract 4. Mm -hmm. I add it and I subtract it because I, I don't want to change the value of the function. And so if I add it and subtract it, I really just add it. But the bottom is going to take away the things that aren't shared, which I can factor. This factor is going to be x minus 2 squared. And then these two here are going to minus. And I've got a minus 12, minus 4. That's a negative 16. I think some people, and I'm going to do this a little bit on the side, some people might not have this from. Some people might have this from. I'm going to do step by step. If I just want to factor this, I need two. Multiply to a 4 and add to a negative 6. What two numbers are those? Negative 2 and negative 6. And you kind of see that same factor of x minus 2 x minus 2. You don't have to keep any of x minus 2 x minus 2. And exactly, I get negative 16 and negative 12 minus 2 x minus 2. That will always work out like this. Because we're completing the square. We're making it a perfect square. Two and squared it, we pick the number that will make that work. We pick the number that will make that work. It's not just a coincidence. We did it so we can put it in that form. The whole point now, the whole point was so that this would equal, or so this would be in vertex form. So can we see the vertex here? Yeah. What's the vertex? Two negative 16. Remember, it's Whatever makes this portion 0, so if it's a minus 2, it's a positive 2. And then it's this number is the uh, k, the negative 16. So our vertex is 2, negative 16. So I could plot that 2, negative 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's going to look something like this. From those three points, can you see the parabola? 
And I'm actually going to label this point on the graph 2, negative 16, negative 2, comma, 0, 6, comma, 0. So I've got this. It's going to look something like this. So we are able to sketch it. Now, does this parabola open up or down? Uh, Opens up. Can we finish the thing that we did yesterday on the test? And the line symmetry is at. What would it be, Tamika? Um, oh, it's a 16 to. Mm -mm. Wait, the line of symmetry, which I have highlighted here in yellow, is just the vertical line that goes through the vertex. So, because it's a vertical line that goes through the vertex, and the vertex x value is 2, the line of symmetry is just going to be x equals 2. The whole shape is symmetrical. The green side matches up with the purple side. The whole shape is symmetrical about that vertex. How can I find the y-intercept? Uh, yeah, but it's not very easy to see here. What's the x value at the y-intercept? The x value. How far do I go over in the x direction? No. Negative 2. Zero. On the x and the y-axis, we go over 0. So if we just plug in 0 for x, we'll be able to see what that y-intercept is. So what does that equal? Negative 12. So this crosses the y-axis as a negative 12. That seems reasonable. So we've got a vertex, we've got a y-intercept, we've got our roots. Do we think this works? Can we check it on Desmos? Let's check it on Desmos. So we've got x squared, what was it, minus 4x minus 12. All right. Does it look like our vertex was correct? Yeah. Let's check it. 2, negative 16, is that what we had? No. Y-intercept, 0, negative 12, is that what we had? The roots... The zeros, we got negative 2, 0, and 6, comma, 0. Tamika? Just want to make sure we're successful on this tomorrow. So that works out, guys, right? Any questions on this? Yeah? This is what you're going you're gonna to be asked to do tomorrow. On your own. This is an example. We just did it. 